Hey y'all, it's Maddie from the Itty Bitty Homestead Committee. I have two litters of rabbits that I need to go over and evaluate, and I thought I could show you them and we can kind of do that together. So let's hop into it. The first litter that I am going to show you is out of Sadie, and I am not the most pleased with this litter because it is mostly casters, but as far as casters go, they are really pretty in coat. Though I didn't like the mix that Sadie and Strawberry gave me, as most of the babies have a high point that's too forward, but we'll talk about that more as we get into this grouping. And the sire for both of these litters is Mr. Strawberry because he is the main mini rec sire that we have in the barn. To start off with, we have this little lovely broken caster dough. I really like her coloring compared to her mom, but that's about it. Um, she doesn't have a nose marking. She does have a little spot on the side of her nose, but I don't think that would count as a nose marking, and I'm pretty sure she would still get us disqualified. Beyond that, she's very flat over the top line. She peaks early, making her loin look hollow, and she is a bit long in the shoulder. So overall, not my favorite kit out of this litter, although she does have a really sweet disposition, but overall this one is going to be a hard cull. Next we have this little broken caster dough. She actually has a full nose marking and has a really nice roughness over her coat. She has a bit better type of her sister, meaning that she has a better shoulder, but her high point is too far forward, again giving that hollow appearance in her loin. Overall, not horrible. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep her in my breeding program with that high point, and I'm already on the fence about getting rid of my casters, as I always talk about, and she is not better than her mother so I wouldn't be willing to keep her anyway. Next we have this solid caster dough. Overall I think this is the better dough out of all of the ones in Sadie's litter. She has a really nice roughness over her fur and she has a decent type. She's still a little forward in that high point, not as bad as her sisters though, and overall she has a nice little balanced frame when it comes to height versus depth and has a decent shoulder on her. Um, I am going to grow her out and see how she does, maybe as a replacement for Sadie if I do decide to keep her in my lines. Um, this is one of the does that we are going to take to show uh, at the end of the month next month just to see what a judge has to say about this little doe. Like I said, on the fence about her, more than likely I'm not going to keep her. Next we have this little black buck. I was really hoping that this was the doe out of the litter and uh, well he disappointed me. With that being said it doesn't really matter all that much. He is long in the shoulder though I do like the high point best out of this. Um, he is a chunky boy. He is the largest out of a litter and he has a coat that is identical to strawberries. He is gorgeous on his coat. Um, with that being said um, Overall, he's not better than his father, so I'm not willing to keep him in my breeding program. I'm on the fence as to if I want to take him to show in the next month. Like I said, I think he's a little long on that shoulder, but overall, not bad on the high point and just a very well-balanced buck. Um, again, though, not better than his dad, so he won't be staying in our program. Next up, we have this little caster buck. Um, really nice roughness over the fur, really nice ticking. I would like to see a little more depth in color with my casters in the future, making them look more black in appearance until we get into those ring lines. But for now, this is an improvement compared to the mom who almost looks like an amber in color or a red in color. Um, this little buck has a really nice high point, but is too long in the shoulder. Um, he also has a really nice balance in his hind quarter and is nice and rounded but again with how long he is in the shoulder he is not better than his father strawberry so there is no way that i'm going to be keeping this buck in the breeding program our next litter is out of this lovely doe. Her name is Penguin, and we have gotten a best of variety, best on group in her, and overall she is just a really solid little rabbit. Although she is a bit big for a mini Rex, and she is a bit long in the shoulder, which is what we're trying to improve as a replacement for her in the near future. 
We are gonna start this litter off with this little broken black buck. And again, when you are comparing all of these bucks to strawberry, it's really hard to find a nice replacement. These bucks have to be super cream of the crop, just the best of the best. And unfortunately, although this kit does have a nice little balance to him, again, he's a little too high forward on that high point, And he looks a little hollow in through that rear section. Um, it's just throwing off his balance over all and his fur type is just not comparable to strawberries so we won't be keeping this little buck next we have this little tri-colored uh rabbit she is a doe um she has one of the better types out of all of the kits here in this litter she's very rounded in those hind quarters very full in the loin she's a little long on the shoulder but not too horrible um my biggest disappointment with this is i'm pretty sure she is a charlie genetically um and that's just because she doesn't have a nose marking she has a very 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 light coloration over the back and very thin eye markings with that being said, I can't necessarily test that theory because I won't be keeping her in my breeding program because I don't want to perpetuate any problems in my pattern markings later down the line. So this one, unfortunately, is going to be a cull. So this is Miss Daisy. This is my sister's rabbit. Uh, she is a Vienna marked Harlequin and she's just kind of hanging out with us until my sister comes to pick her up. Um, overall, she's not a horrible rabbit. I think I like uh, her type pretty well. She has a nice high point that goes into a pretty full loin, a little long in the shoulder and her Harlequin markings don't have the best coloration. I wish they had a bit more of a darkness. Um, with that being said, if this doe stays more than eight months in our program my little sister has given me the go-ahead to use her in my vienna marked program so that would be cool maybe we could get a blue-eyed white out of her but for now she's just chilling until my little sister has a chance to come out to colorado and get her so she's half breeder half permapet and all the sweetness one could want in a little show rabbit not that i could show her because she is a harlequin and harlequins are not an accepted color in mini rex and she's also vienna marked so there's that as well but still an adorable little rabbit and finally, we have Blueberry. So Blueberry is the kit we are looking at keeping out of both litters, no questions asked. And we will be taking her to show at the end of September. With that being said, she does have a little bit long of a shoulder compared to her father, but her shoulder is miles better than her mother. And then she also has a really nice high point rounded into a gorgeous loin. She has nearly a perfect death to height balance just absolutely gorgeous so we are looking at using her as a replacement for her mother depending on how she places in the next couple of shows and what judges think of her but if we can get her to place in the top couple at a show meaning she gets past best of group best of variety and is taking a look for at best of breed or best opposite she will definitely be better than her mother and by the time she hits eight nine months we will be breeding her for her first litter. The hope is that she breeds just as well as her mother, but she improves the type and quality <laughs> in our barn. So yeah, that is all of the rabbits out of the last two kits for our mini Rex. And I'm really excited to see how Blueberry does in the upcoming shows. With that being said, uh, this is the first time that we have gotten a successful breeding out of Strawberry with a couple of does. And I've learned a good bit from this breeding. One is that he seems to throw a very forward high point in a lot of his kits. I'm gonna try pairing him with a couple other does to see if this is perpetuated through other lines or if maybe Maybe he just didn't pair well this time with the two current rabbits. Um, Penguin is pregnant again and should be expecting another litter of kits here in about two weeks. So as they get older, I can definitely see if it was a fluke or not. With that being said, I want to thank y'all so much for getting this far into the video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.